up, guys? Um, I don't know. I'm bored, so well, bored for the time being. So I thought there's this interesting video on track. You know, a lot of these videos on track and stuff are like very contradictory, and it's all over the place. It never really has set mine or anything, but you know, I find these videos. Uh, I don't know. I don't really watch them all that often. You know, I kind of like see them, but I never really click on them. But, you know, this one got my attention. Say, why people can end up miserable with the INFJ. And that is actually true. That is, that, that is actually a very true statement. People can really be miserable being with an INFJ. Especially if that INFJ or even INTJ is an Enneagram 8. So, you know, ooh, that's, <laughs> uh, that's another can of worms that most people not been ready for. I know y'all said y'all ready for an intuitive to be an intuitive Enneagram 8, but most people not been ready for an Enneagram 8. So there's that anyways. Uh, let me click the video, see what they got to say, because why not? I'm a... What if I told you you could go back 50? You indeed are aware of how you impact the lives of your loved ones and some strangers too. Whether that impact is good or bad, the thing here is you're incomparably remarkable and anyone who has experienced either your warmth or wrath can hardly get over it. I'm going to show you the 10 reasons why the INFJ can unconsciously make people's lives miserable. Number 10. They make a list of people who have wronged them. Wrong? This list is saved in their memory. Yeah, this is right. You know, um, I know on the, you know, people like go to the stereotype and say how INFJs or INTJs, since they're NI dumb, they have very bad memory. But not as bad as you think. Um, definitely not as bad as you think, especially when they have hard impact. But um, yeah. Let's let's uh, let's see why they say this though. I'm I'm conscious on why this is right though. This is a this is right. Marie, and the saddest part is these people are often one of their peers and loved ones. True. If you're an INFJ, you surely know what to do with a close friend you used to be so comfortable with, but you're suspected to be subtly envying you and saying bad things about you. Your behavior and attitude towards... True fact, especially with ENTJ friends. I got a very good ENTJ friend that come to mind when they said that ENTJ... E, not ENTJs, ESTJs. ESTJs, my bad, ENTJs. ESTJs are very notorious for being snakes. Give an example. Give you a, a perfect example. Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, perfect example. I'm not going to go into the deep details why, but y'all should know why. Let's keep going. Them will gradually change. There will be fewer hangouts and shallower discussions. You no longer openly talk about things you used to talk about before. And this only implies they're losing you. They're losing a freedom wall and a comfort zone. Yes, it will never be your loss. How can you tell when someone has been fake towards you all along? Um, I say this is... This is a very, this is most of the time how uh, relationship, relationship, friendships or whatever with INFJs and ESTJs. This is definitely how it goes. Definitely. Perfectly how it goes, actually. Number nine. The truth is that Hollywood, their words can stink to the core. As an INFJ. <sighs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, but if there's nothing bad about you, we won't say nothing bad about you. But if you're a bad person, we will definitely dig in, dig into your ass. Um, INFJs have, INFJs undoubtedly have the sharpest tongue. INFJ, INFJs and EN, ENFJ probably had the sharpest tongue out of the whole MBTI community. The sharpest. Uh, let's, let's say Let's go. Jay, you may not intend to degrade, belittle. No, sometimes we intentionally do that. Sometimes we intentionally break your spirit. 
I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat and say I know Jay is all cookies and ice cream because we're not. Sometimes we intentionally try to break your spirit. <laughs> but let's 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 continue. Or crush someone's self esteem. But what should you do when you're pushed to your limits? So bold of everyone to attack. When the I know Jay pushed to their limits, they'll. There are three things I know Jay do when they're pushed to their limits. Either they try to make it work more. Uh, they completely shut you out their life, aka door slam, however you want to call it, or we try to break your spirit indefinitely. That three things we try to do, or are going to do. We don't really try. We're going to do it. <laughs> you when all they need to do is run for their dear lives, because what you're about to do is spit their bitter truths right in their faces. Facts. On a random Monday morning, your coworker makes insensitive remarks about your weaknesses. But because you're an INFJ and you have the choice to react accordingly to how people treat you, you might end up enumerating your co-workers' insecurities as well in front of everyone. Although you're aware of how this affects your co-worker's self-esteem, you don't have any idea how long it takes for him or her to move on from what you said. Uh, we do know how long it takes for people to move on. Um, the thing is, we say when we say something, we... Especially when it comes to hurting your feelings, we mean what we say to stick with you for the rest of your life indefinitely. We will sting you to where you think about it forever. <laughs> That's it. We stinging you forever. This is why people shouldn't underestimate you. Facts. Because when you're hit, you can hit back harder. Facts. Number eight. Everyone has an eye enough chase respect but slowly loses it depending on the way they treat them. Facts. Facts. Oh my, this is facts. This is facts. I think this whole video is like, I think at Ian ESTJ wrote this video because so far this describes perfectly how an INFJ and an ESTJ relationship goes. Completely how it goes. Completely. Completely. But we're going to continue uh see what they got to say about it. INFJ types do respect everyone. True. They treat everyone fairly and see them non-judgmentally. Facts. After knowing all these traits, who wouldn't feel so blessed to have an INFJ in their life? You'd be surprised. If you're an INFJ, anyone who has known you thinks you're quite a good catch. Facts. Because of how unbiased, open-minded, non-judgmental, and respectful you are. Facts. And what would happen when someone loses your respect? You will no longer take their advice, Facts. suggestions, Facts. and comments seriously. Facts. You will no longer give value to every word they say. Facts. This isn't because you want to disrespect them, mm. but because it's just how you believe things should work. Mm. This defense strategy is also an excellent way to shield yourself from whatever these hypocrites might try to do to you in the future. Facts. How many people have lost your respect so far? You'd be amazed. Number seven, they refuse to be dragged by anyone's drama. Some people feel emotionally mm. satisfied whenever they drag someone into their own chaos. By projecting their odd, ugly traits towards INFJ types or putting the blame on them, they can escape from the consequences of their mistakes. If you're an INFJ, people surely see you as a less threatening target. Facts. This is why they choose you as a freedom wall Bad and a idea. person they can vent out to. Oh, and unfortunately... Good a safe subject they can displace their anger and hatred into. Facts. But because you're drama resistant, you make these kinds of people miserable by refusing mm. to take the blame and continue to live your life. Facts. Unbothered. Facts. Joyous. Facts. And independent. Facts. Once these people witness how you grow outside <laughs> their watch, they would indeed crumble. Number six, they won't try to please anyone. Uh, Some people 50, are out 50. there trying to suck out the life of others by making them do uh that's a 50 50 subject 50 50 subject but once once we once once we get into this subject where we kind of like as all introverts end up hating people after dealing with them too much we can uh we can kind of like bring a big middle finger to society uh jordan peterson great i of j um you hear him bash that's exact that's 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 exactly how uh deep we can get some of us can even get deeper
depending on how high your NI is, quite frankly, I could get deeper, but you know, I think Jordan Peterson have a way better TI than I do. His TI is just so much better than mine, so. Who thinks at their own expense? INFJ types unconsciously make toxic people crumble Facts. by not moving a limb to please them. Facts. Yes, that's the key. Not always. Sometimes the only way to avenge yourself from those who have wronged you is to detach yourself from their radar, not taking offense in everything they say and do, and stop being preoccupied with their concerns. As emotionally independent creatures, INFJ types are experts in slamming their doors for selfless, insensitive, manipulative, and narcissistic people who do nothing but disrupt their inner peace. Facts. Do you also refuse to get swayed by your manipulator's words? Facts. Number five, they can't help but ignore the shallows. Facts. As someone with extremely hectic schedules, you might unconsciously make someone's life miserable by simply not giving them the attention they don't deserve. As an INFJ, you can't help but keep your eyes on the prize. This means you can't afford to spend time with the unnecessary characters in your life. Facts. Such as those whom you think are too shallow to deal with your complexities. Facts. And too cowardly to measure your depth. Facts. With the very limited free time you have, you should spend it creating meaningful experiences, diving into profound conversations with open-minded people, and giving quality time to your loved ones. You literally have no time for some unnecessary parties with temporary pals. Facts. And guess what? You won't care if these people would hate you for declining their calls and invitations. Facts. You have your own life to take care of. Number four. They can't minimize their high standards for anyone. Okay, guys. This this is why I want you to know about INFJs. We're we are not we're not we're not look. I don't I hear a lot of fake INFJs. I hear a lot of people say, INFJs, you should I haven't heard that throughout my whole life. Hey, you should lower your standards. I know Jay should lower your standards. I know Jay, you shouldn't think so deep about stuff. We It's literally, first of all, it's literally impossible not for me. To, I can't speak for all I know Jay's, but it's literally impossible for me not to quote, quote, overthink or quote, quote, all of this high, sta high standards. Yes, we got them. It's not going down. It's, it's not. Um, it definitely don't. It, it may be. It's not going nowhere. I'm sorry. It's not. The thing is, thing is, even even though we do have high standards and all that, we still will carry people along to make sure. Like we have high standards, but we are not. You know, we are not. You know, selfish enough to be like, oh, you don't meet my standards, I'm gonna block you, or whatever. Like if we care about you and you don't meet our standards, standards, we will try to bring you up with us. ENFJs and INFJs will try to bring you up with them. That's pure. That's a fact from every standpoint. If you can even add INTJs with this. INFJ types are fully aware that their standards are the determinants of who deserves their world and who doesn't. Someone who truly loves and cares for them will pull out all the stops to reach their seemingly unreachable standards. Facts. Otherwise, it's a no deal for INFJ types. Facts. As an INFJ, you should know that you aren't too much. You're just different. And anyone who's too shallow to understand that can't deserve your affection and precious time. So, don't ever feel guilty for making someone else's life miserable just because you refuse to stoop to their level. Again, it's not your job to increase someone's value and inflate someone's ego. Facts. What advice can you give to those who lower their standards to accommodate more people in their life? Don't lower your standards. Number three, they can't give their trust to anyone. I have Facts. Uh, as all as all high FE users, we all high e, high FE users can can accommodate to this. Thing is, I know. I know Jays or any high FE user are known to like be very uh very trustworthy and I wanna say gullible but you know kinda ignore their intuition a lot, but we learn not to do that so we don't give trust to everybody in general. We we don't give our trust to everybody or we learn not to give our trust to everybody and once we get to that point, getting our trust is damn near impossible. So if you're not trying to try at anything, don't even attempt it.
it type shouldn't feel sorry for those people who haven't and will never earn their trust. Facts. There surely is a reason why the universe granted you the ability to detect people's lies. Facts. And it's to protect you from whatever your predators are planning against you. Facts. This is especially applicable to the toxic people who are suddenly trying to dominate your life right now. Facts. These people love being the mastermind and they will do everything to earn your trust. So they will have more control over you. Facts. But as the smartest of the MBTI, you can't let this happen. You're the captain of your own. Okay, that may be true. I say intuitive doms or INTJs or INFJs are usually the smartest. But just because that because he or she is an INFJ doesn't mean you cannot be smarter than an INFJ. Any MBTI type can be smart as hell, actually. But you know. There go a little ego inflating in the video. Ship. And anyone who tries to put their hands on your deepest secrets should taste the pangs of your door slam. Number two, they won't hesitate to call people out. Facts. INFJ types can't turn a blind eye. It's hard for INFJs to turn turn away from bullshit. Blame that on NI and TI. Really. They're very, it's very hard for INFJ to turn their eye to bullshit it's very hard it's very hard for any ti user top three ti users to have to ignore bullshit it just is very hard actually to someone's filthy crimes they hate to break it to them straightforwardly but they also fear the deviating from their moral principles facts this is why they will do what they can to let someone know what they've done wrong facts as an infj you have to admit that you once had a close relationship with some toxic people in your life. Of course. And the scariest part is you once empathized with them of and course. justified their actions on their behalf. Of course. But when you get back to your senses over time and realize the red flags you've been missing, you can't help but be brutally vocal about what they did wrong. We we noticed the red flags subconsciously, but I don't know. We kind of like we kind of like fe our way past it which why one of the reasons why i say fe fe can be a pain in the ass function so there's that these people can't see their problem until you spill it before them Facts. when was the last time you frankly told someone about their toxicity all the time number what if i told you you could go back 50 contain boundaries for those who are fond of crossing someone Okay, I'm, I'm going to just skip this one because every INFJ video have boundaries. There's boundaries, that boundaries, 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 boundaries. Anybody with the F-E-T-I loop with F-E above T-I, you can you can apply this boundary thing to, quite frankly. So I'm going to just skip this part of the video. But everything about the video true. I thought I'd do one of these videos for once. So, you know, there's that. I might do a Freight Jane video after this because why not? Peace. Look, as an INFJ, please don't abandon me anywhere at all. <laughs> Do you see what that lady did? You said just leave with a stranger. Please don't do that. Oh, unless if there's no genuine, you know, connection, conversation, or you know laugh or whatever don't don't ever do this shit if you're this type of friend please you will not be my friend doing this it's annoying and aggravating and it makes me not want to ever go out with you anywhere in public ever don't do that <laughs> please don't do that okay let's continue with the video so this this is awesome it's great okay uh what I've seen with a lot of Frank James videos is he assumed all introverts have social anxiety, which is not true at all. Um, not even a little bit, actually. Um, oh. Yeah, his, his main idea for all introverts is introverts have social anxiety when we don't. Like, it, it comes off like this. But uh, more is more actually really like dish with introverts. Okay, Crystal, I think we need to talk. Before you start, I just want to tell you how much fun it's been hanging out with you guys. 
think of me as the big sister you always wanted. Don't take this the wrong way, but I need you to get the hell up out of here. Any particular? That's pretty much how introverts are, basically. <laughs>